Hello, my name is Griffin Klein, and I'm doing my presentation for Team 4 on our concept generation for the secure student. So as a team, we first thought of thought up of our concept generation, concept combination table, and we first thought of three different sub functions, which are receive user input, store energy, and the locking mechanism. Out of those three, we ended up breaking them down into an RFID scan, button, and voice activation for receive user input which Will ended up drawing all of them. For store energy was battery, spring, and gravity, and I ended up drawing these. And the final subfunction is the locking mechanism for deadbolt, dead latch, and hook and eye latch, where uh, the draw-ups were from Anakit. So after that, we broke them up into different uh, plausible solutions. And the two that I ended up choosing were three and four, which can be seen as yellow here, which is the button, gravity, and dead latch. And number four, which is the orange for RFID scan, battery, and dead latch. So to go into a little bit more depth about those, number three for the button, gravity, and dead latch, Obviously, the user would push the button when they got up to the door. It would send some code to Arduino, and it would turn, it would send that to the motor, and it would end up turning the rotational energy or rotational motion from the motor into horizontal motion to open the dead latch. And obviously, the gravitational energy storage would end up sensing that the battery ran out of energy, so it would use the counterweights to uh, build up potential energy and eventually store it so that the battery can use it for later. So it would almost be an indefinite uh, life source. On the other hand, we have something that's more, more suitable and a lot easier to set up, which is just the RFID uh, scanner, battery, and dead latch. So the user would have an RFID card for the RFID pad, and they would scan it here. It would send the code to the Arduino, and it would send it to the motor, Again, turning rotational motion into linear to open the uh, horizontal latch. And then uh, it's all powered by a battery. However, the battery uh, would end up having to be replaced after some time because uh, it'll end up running out of juice. All right. Thank you for listening to my video on our secure student project.